Hi and welcome. I'm Sophie Luxon and in this video I'm going to explain to you what spiritual striptease is. At its core, spiritual striptease is a movement practice and it is a movement practice designed to plug a woman back into her power. We use music and sensual movement and a woman's full self, body, mind, heart, soul, spirit, and the act of striptease to bring a woman into her most lit up, turned on state. Spiritual striptease also allows us to get out of our brains where we can feel fucked up and broken and wrong and into our bodies where we feel our perfection, our rightness and our glory. I have a long history of teaching exotic dance and it was always very performative, meaning my energy was out and it was about enticing and seducing the audience. And when I got married and had a kid and my world got flipped upside down, I was craving a deeper, richer experience where I could express all of my feelings and I could also reconnect with myself. And so at that point, I took everything that I knew about sensual movement and I brought in emotion and I brought in soul and I brought in spirit and developed spiritual striptease. And this is a practice that I use all the time. I use it when I'm stuck. I use it when I'm going through heavy emotion to drop the charge, to release the heaviness of the load. I use it to celebrate. I use it to turn back on when I feel turned off. So, if you haven't experienced sensual movement before, sensual movement to me has three elements. One is it consists of circles and spirals to celebrate a woman's curve. Two is it brings in a woman's emotions and her sensuality. Three, there are movements designed to let a woman express her sensuality and her sexual energy wherever it is and however it is in, in the moment. What makes spiritual striptease different from something like yoga, for example. Well, in spiritual striptease, we invite the full woman onto the mat. You don't leave anything at the door. And because we work with the full woman, we have an opportunity for transformative experiences that are like no other. And I don't know about you, but I believe that we need so many more spaces where we can bring our full woman into it, not have to leave anything at the door. Who is this practice for? This practice is for any woman who is curious about what it is to, to live in her body. This practice is for a woman who wants to know what it feels like to be entirely congruent, entirely aligned, mind, body, spirit, moving, living, breathing together. This practice is for any woman who wants to take her sexual energy out of the hands of anyone else or any situation outside of herself. It's for a woman who wants to tend to her own flame and to have the power to do that at any time, in any moment, in any place. Do you have to get naked? Do we get naked? If you want to get naked, please get naked. If you don't want to get naked, don't get naked. Is there a transformative opportunity in getting naked? Absolutely. Do you get to decide in every moment what you want to do? Absolutely. The choice is yours always and forever. Sometimes I get the question, do I need to be in love with my body or feel really comfortable in my body when I do spiritual striptease? No, you don't because we live in a world that dishonors women's bodies all the time in small, medium and large ways. So we all come with body image wounds. One thing that we set a standard for in spiritual striptease is that every woman's body is perfect and right and worthy and the perfect body to do spiritual striptease. You have earned that right just by being born in a woman's body. We see every woman exactly where she is. We let her be exactly where she is and find all the beauty in that. Finally, what is the magic to spiritual striptease? All of the things that women are trained out of, that we are told not to access, not to use, that we are told are our weaknesses, our innate sexuality, our sensuality, our lust, our fire, our emotions, our sensitivities, are exactly the things that we tap into and use as a power source in spiritual striptease. And when a woman begins to use that power 
and access that power, she really puts on her queen's crown and starts to become the creatrix of her life. I love spiritual striptease. It is something that I do on the regular and I would love to share it with you when and if you are ready.